Welcome to the Seneca Meadows Landfill. At Seneca Meadows, safety is our number one value. In this video, we'll provide you with safety tips and requirements as a basic guide to our facility located in Seneca Falls, New York. Before entering Seneca Meadows, there are several rules that you must be aware of as they will be strictly enforced. Cell phone use is not permitted while on site. All trucks must have a functioning CB radio set on channel three. The speed limit throughout our site is 15 miles per hour. Personal protective equipment must be worn at all times. This includes a reflective vest, protective eyewear, hard hat, steel toe work boots, and gloves. As you are entering our facility, follow the directional signage to safely navigate your way to the scale house. There are several lanes on the right for trucks, while residential customers and business partners will merge to the left. Be alert for speed bumps between the site entrance and the scale house. While approaching the scale house, please be aware of our site personnel and reduce your speed. Our facility has a residential drop-off area on your left, so be on the lookout for small vehicles merging to and from the scale house. Be aware and yield to any customers that may be directed to the front of the line by our operators. It is imperative that we ensure the safety of our local residents as they enter and exit the scale house. Please keep this zone clear at all times. Please have all paperwork ready when you enter the scales in order to avoid delays. If you do not have the required PPE, it is available to you here at the scale house. If you have any questions, please ask them here. When exiting the scales, proceed with caution to the stop sign ahead and stay alert to the instructions being provided to you on your CB radio channel 3. There will be signs posted along the way to assist with operator instructions. For everyone's safety, please continue to watch your speed. Remember, it's 15 miles per hour. The working face is one of the most dangerous areas at our landfill. You are more likely to come into contact with other vehicles and machinery on the working face than any other area of our facility. Once you're on the working face, a landfill operator will direct you when and where to dump. When approaching your designated dumping area, proceed at low speed and make sure you are scanning the entire area. Our equipment operators are always looking to see where people and vehicles are located, but we also need your help. You need to be alert to other vehicles moving to their dumping areas and mindful of their potential blind spots while they are turning and backing up. When you arrive at your designated dumping area, always look to see if there's an open slot. Be aware the location of each bulldozer, compactor, truck, and other heavy equipment in the area. Most importantly, let the operators know when you are ready to back up and wait until you have been instructed to proceed. Backing up without communication with the equipment operators can lead to incidents and injury. Please dump in sequence after the operator tells you when and where to back up. We would like you to dump along the edge of the working face from one side to the other unless specified by the operator's instructions. It is important to park with proper space between each vehicle. You must be at least 10 feet from any other vehicle. If you are near an end dump, you must leave 75 feet between you and the end dump. If you are outside of your vehicle, be sure to wear all of your site required PPE. This makes you more visible to our operators and to everyone else. Always stay close to your own vehicle. If you see someone you know and would like to speak with them, wait until you have left the dumping area. Unnecessary chattering on the CB radio, along with wandering, can lead to serious injuries. Scavenging is strictly prohibited. Violating this rule can result in serious injury or death. If your vehicle has a tipping hazard, be sure you are dumping on flat and even terrain. Also, make sure to be in your cab with your seat belt fastened. We will do our best to make sure we have a good tipping surface. Please stop if something doesn't feel right. Raising your bed on uneven terrain is dangerous to you and to everyone around you. We also want you to be aware of high winds. Vehicles that raise have a much higher risk of tipping if winds are present. Please use your best judgment. 
If your load is stuck, please lower your bed and ask the operator for assistance. We have machines on site that will help release your load. If you are raising your bed and someone pulls up beside you, please stop, lower your bed, and ask them to relocate to another safer dumping location. If your truck requires the use of one of our tippers, you will be given a number as to which tipper you will be using. Please locate the tipper with that corresponding number and safely position your vehicle for the tipper use. The tipper operator will let you know when it is safe to back onto the open tipper. All communication is done on the CB radio channel 3. Remember to never back onto a tipper when the red light is lit. As you prepare to leave the dumping area, remember that all safety guidelines still apply. This means PPE must continue to be worn at all times and use of cell phone is prohibited. Exit through the wheel wash when reapproaching the scale house. Remember the checkout instructions provided by the scale house team on landfill scale out procedures. Our team has been properly trained to operate safely. We need your help to ensure everyone's safety at our facility. We appreciate the opportunity to serve you and we would like to thank you for your cooperation on your safe journey throughout our facility today and into the future.